They all want to live in a thriving community with plenty of things to do, but after a lot of change, some new people and some new businesses, the places that make Austin seem cool to many need new ways to continue to thrive. The city is helping several businesses groups and banding together on that. The pilot program called Soli is tackling four parts of town right now, East Cesar Chavez, East 12th Street, Manor Road, and the Red River Cultural District. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis found that district made the most progress. Keeps me going, but I'm just getting started. It's where people who care about great music come every night. On Red River, there's a genre for everyone. It's a little bit of everything. Steve Sternshine, owner of Empire Control Room, says there's never been as much live music in Austin as now. Flip side of that is the changes in the, the financial side of things, the property, the property values and taxes and stuff like that. You know, this is kind of, it could be the end of an era if we don't take steps to change that. That's why he's teaming up with neighboring businesses to form a merchant association. We all have the same concerns, so if we work together, we can be more effective than, you know, as individual voices. The city will provide coaching, helping businesses set goals and create a vision for the future. Participants hope the effort will preserve what makes Austin weird and keep jobs here. You know, obviously there's going to be changes, and the question is whether the changes that happen are positive and support cultural impact that Red River has or whether or not, you know, it gets swept aside. Owners believe a positive shift will keep Red River the home of live music for decades to come. Today, Sternshine met with the city to get those plans started. Next year, the city plans to request more funding for the program to expand it. And down the line, they hope to provide beautification projects and other support to businesses.